Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh. This is Native Nomads. Today, we're going to be discussing the inadvertent Wabasto, Russian Wabasto heater fiasco that we got ourselves into by purchasing our Wabasto heater off of Amazon. I'm sure a lot of people have done this, and because we are new to this entire van world, we did not know what to look out for, and now we have ourselves in a situation where we have to completely remove our heater, and we ordered a new one from an awesome company named VMAX. I will put VMAX information in the description. They were so helpful, took my call. He tried to help me diagnose the situation, but at the end of the day, without the proper equipment, I'm unable to fix the problems that we're dealing with. Um, all that said, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Surge Supply. Surge Supply does all of our custom cabinetry, all of our wall panels, and I'm about to show you right now exactly why we went with Surge Supply. So as you can probably tell, Surge Supply does great craftsmanship and they shipped the stuff directly to my door. All of their information is in the description to help you with your van build, not help you not allow your van build to take you six, seven, eight months. We are seven weeks in to our van build and I wanna say we're a couple weeks out from hitting the road. We are leaving early December. Either way, you might see this video after we've already left. I don't know yet. But let's talk about the Wabasto heater, what happened, what got us here, and what things you can avoid when you're purchasing your Wabasto heater off of Amazon um, or another website that you may not be familiar with. Okay, so we purchased our Wabasto heater off of Amazon, and I will admit I was pinching pennies when I purchased it, just like I think anybody would if you're building out your van because the van builds get extremely expensive extremely quick and there was one for fifteen hundred and eighty dollars and there was one for twelve hundred dollars they were both the stc air top twos it didn't seem to me they both had the same components the same controllers everything was the same my assumption was based on my previous experience with amazon sometimes people sell wabasto or any product for more and other people sell it for less it's simple it just happens all the time you find the best deal you purchase it generally you have a good experience but with this Wabasto heater being from Russia it is the stripped down version of the Wabasto heater so it does not come with any bells and whistles which I was fine with the issue is I'm having a code thrown that is an H94 code so I have the system completely installed in my van. I was under the van yesterday hooking up the gas lines and I wanted to get it turned on because as you can tell with my garb, it's freezing cold in Ohio. And I'm tired of being cold. So I want to get the van warmed up so when we're working in here, it's just more comfortable. Well, I got all of that hooked up. I spent two hours underneath the van. It was 37 degrees. My feet were freezing. And I come inside the van to try to turn everything on and I'm getting this code h94 well that's a hex code so all the h codes are european and russian and all the f codes if you're getting f codes on your wabasto heater it's all american products um, and they're intended for use within the united states so i call vmax and i mentioned vmax at the beginning of this video the owner of vmax i'm assuming i think his name is scott literally just sat on the phone with me for 45 minutes going through manuals trying to help me diagnose the problem that i was having with the russian made wabasto diesel heater well we were unable to come to a solution and let me let me try to show you a little bit of what the issue is and i will show you the error code i may have already shown you the error code there is an error code that pops up which is H94 now H94 is a resistor code so the resistor which in my professional opinion that I'm not a professional would plug in to this plug right there well nothing came with that so there was no plug for me to plug in right here 
This is where my controller gets plugged into. Here's your fuses. The fix on the internet was to remove these fuses, allow it to reset, and you should be able to start your Robusto. Well, that's not the case because this plug right here, from my understanding, and I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right, is the resistor wire, and that is the code that I'm getting for the Wabasto diesel heater. Now, luckily I caught it when I did because our Wabasto is here. There's going to be a bench seat right here that will sit over the Wabasto. The Wabasto will pump air towards the front um, or towards the side. I have not decided yet. And all of my wires are ran underneath my subfloor. Now, granted, I have not completely fastened the subfloor down, and I ran my wiring harness underneath the subfloor, up through the wall, back behind, and popped it out to connect to my fuse box. Sorry if that was a little shaky. Well, now I have to completely remove all of that, and we were to the point now where we were about to remove the hide-and-go seat, and we were going to put the lone seal floor down, I was going to have the heater hooked up, and then I was gonna start putting cabinetry in and getting my galley put in and getting my cabinets installed. But instead, I have to wait until my new heater arrives from VMAX. Now, things happen, and I am a novice van builder, so I did not know what to look out for. My hope is for you, if you're looking to build a van, you're looking to purchase a heater, or you're looking to have heat inside your van and Wabasto is the direction you want to go, be very, very sure that you are purchasing it from a distributor within the United States. You may be able to find that on Amazon, um, but you're going to have to be very particular. The one thing about this heater, and I'm going to try to show you without making this difficult, there is written words on the side of the Wabasto. And one thing that... VMAX mentioned to me is, is that in Russian or is it in English? Um, it is in English. So it's very hard. Nobody, unless you know, unless you are very familiar with Wabasto heaters, you're probably not going to know what you're looking at when you receive the package. Now, one way to tell is your wire loom. If you purchase a Russian unit or a European unit, it will be wrapped in a black tape, like a black um, gritty tape. If you purchase it an American unit, the wire loom generally comes wrapped in plastic, a plastic wire loom. So there are, are small things that will help you decipher which one that you may have. But the issue with the European model is it's very hard to find support within the United States. I called Wabasto International. I spoke to the uh, North American portion of the Wabasto department, and they simply said, oh, that's a Russian heater um, or it's a European heater. We are not able to help just because we don't know their codes and we don't have access to those codes. We deal in F codes. Those are H codes. So if you're new to van life and you're new to van building and you're building out a Sprinter van or a Ford Transit or a ProMaster and you're putting heat inside your van just be very careful which heaters you're purchasing because even the stripped down european model the issue with me is i had to purchase another one because if they would have sent me the proper wiring harness i would have had to have an adapter on the wire on the wabasto to adapt to the american wiring harness that then would have allowed me to continue with the installation process the only issue is they have no support for any of the smart controllers, any of the Bluetooth controllers, anything like that. So all I would have had was a dial. And obviously I did not want that. I wanted something that's just more robust. Um, and that's just a preference. Not everybody has that preference, but for me, that's, that's a preference. So I hope if you're going down this road and you're considering doing any type of van build that you watch this video or you share this video with somebody so they understand what they may be getting into when it comes to the Wabasto heaters, and the differences, because quite honestly, it is impossible for somebody to tell that has never done this before. Um, also, visit VMAX website. They are located in Virginia, I believe, and they will literally take your phone call, talk you through the process, pick out your heater, ship it to your door in two days. I mean, and you have 
customer support. You can literally call Scott. He said, call me anytime and I will help you with the installation if you run into issues and we'll be able to diagnose it properly.